Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Where could Princess Peach be anyway? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Well, yeah, that would be pretty nice, so let's let's do that right now. So where is Peach? Where is Peach? That's Mario, that's not Peach. Where is Peach? Hmm. Oh, there she is. Oh, poor Peach. Always getting kidnapped. Oh, she should be pretty used to it by now. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure she kind of lets herself get kidnapped with Bowser, but that's another story. <laughs> oh, great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Mm hmm? Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, you don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it is very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we're quite nasty. <laughs> Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we, we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Uh, yeah, yes, sir, sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, um, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. And... Mario! Peach, you blabbermouth! Excuse me, Mario. Oh no! Actually, she said the line, I didn't have to. <laughs> I see. So you know this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I know all about him before long. That I promise. Or I'll know, excuse me, I kind of misread that. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir! And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understood? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Interesting. Why would they not want to harm Peach? Hmm. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it is highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sir! Uh, Roger, Grotus, and with that, POW! I'm gone! I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit... out there. <laughs> hmm... Excellent! I summon you! You rang, dude? I, I mean, sir? You rang Sir Grotus, dude. Grotus, Sir Grotus, sir? <laughs> Shut up! Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha. Hmm. Who are they? The Honorable Grotus has need of us? Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you snatched her earlier. Now since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, truly. There are too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All I need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x naught plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. 
It appears we've been watching this all on TV, which is kind of what we've been doing this whole time. <laughs> oh, there's Peach. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again! <laughs> Even she knows she gets kidnapped a lot. I like that they... Uh, continue with the whole kidnapping thing is like a running joke that even the characters in the game acknowledge. I always found that pretty funny. But hang on a moment, where in the world am I? Anyway, it's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toldsworth know that I've been caught. Hmm. Well, let's look around the room here. Let's just see. Whoa, I'm Peach? What? What? I what? What? This is impossible. You, you can't play as other characters in a Mario game. I this is baffling. What? How did the... No way. It's, well, anyway, we're Peach. <laughs> Maybe I should be doing this in a higher voice. Anyway, let's just let's check this. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Oh, I wonder if it works. Oh, jeez. This game is not kid friendly. <laughs> just look at this scene right here. That should tell you everything about this game. Not kid-friendly in the slightest. E for everyone rating. Nope. Right out the window. <laughs> I love the paper towel and dress, though. By the way. <laughs> How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. And she's even blushing, if you can't tell that uh, there's a little, a slight difference in that. Anyway, toilet paper, sink. Sink. There's really not much to see around this area, in all honesty. But, uh... You know, it's, it's kind of funny. That is probably... I mean... How, how do I want to put this? Uh, Mario never gets to see Peach naked. I think the bathroom is like the only time that will ever... I mean, Mario will ever have a chance at seeing her naked. <laughs> anyway, let's move on here. And... Whoa, what's going on here? Hmm? What was that? Hey, ha -ha, the doors are put by themselves. That is pretty odd, isn't it? Well, let's go through them. Let's see what's up, Buttercup. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Hmm, that is really weird, considering that this is a base of sorts. It doesn't work. Should I be doing this whole thing in Peach's voice? I think I should. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Hmm, let's look in here. Maybe there's something going on. Hmm. 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 Oh, lights. And buzzing. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here. Well, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me TEC. You may. Attack! Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, to see that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, uh, I don't think so. But I thought it'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? Funny, it's a computer that can supposedly think for itself finds Grotus to be good character. I, I don't know. <laughs> I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Um, what do you mean by that? <laughs> also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran a di diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. I think I am going through puberty. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Because unknown, I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose the unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I lead you. I led you here. Even though I'm clearly not a perfect reader. <laughs> Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To more, know more about me? Oh! 
No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. Did you get turned on by me in the shower? What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. No, oh, I couldn't really, because well, it's just too weird. <laughs> please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Oh, wait, you do not... You don't know what love is? Oh, oh, wrong voice, dang it! Wait, you don't know what love is? Love... Uh, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness? Fun? I have definitions for those words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Mm. Blue screen! Oh no. <laughs> Princess Peach. Will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes, I, c I can grant you in exchange. I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You extra kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. Now grant my wishes? Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant you your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send the wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you, do, if you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. Recipient, pardon me. <laughs> This keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. I don't think our hands are moving far enough across the keyboard in order to use all the keys. I mean, it just looks like she's using the center of the keyboard and that's it. <laughs> okay, it's ready, Tech. Can you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Um, okay then. Good night. Not a lot of gameplay going on here. <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. Yeah, I might want to make this part a little bit longer so there's actual stuff other than um, dialogue going on here. <laughs> now watch, I, I go back to the Mario side of things. And there's more dialogue. Yeah, there's more dialogue. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty entertaining. Now I'm starting to talk like tech. <laughs> Whose castle is this, anyway? It just looks so familiar. It's Bowser! <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Cooper King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions. Well, now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? <laughs> I love Bowser. Uh, great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. And you can talk to people. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually playing as Bowser now. <laughs> I love this so much. Please, dear Ghastliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Greetings, your huffiness. The hag Kami Koopa will be arriving at any moment. Okay, let's go on forward. So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing, lo loving, <laughs> gazing lovingly at a photo of Princess Peach. 
Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Yeah, Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. <laughs> Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. <laughs> uh, uh, super. In that case, I order to you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. <laughs> uh, do, you guys, do you two have anything else to say? I didn't really think about that. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. No, oh, okay. What about you? Lord Bowser, I've been... Same thing. Okay. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> This is just so ridiculous. <laughs> Hail Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to three of the hall. Okay, that's what I've been doing. Just gotta chat with people along the way. Oh shoot, can't chat with you two, can I? Because she's already here. There she is. The crusty one. Ah, Lord Bowser! Come on, you can do it, you can do it. There, oh, the... Oh, come on, just relax, calm down. I've just not returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpliness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <clears throat> it is my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! Yes, uh, uh, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. D treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! So I guess Cammy does have something to say to Bowser that he's interested in. And it also uh, gives a little backstory as as to uh, Bowser's interest in Mario and that he's not always interested in Mario at all times, basically. <laughs> mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like Friday? Uh, what? Um. Yes. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. Uh, what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. So of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites to asking you first, Lord Bowser. Arrgh! <laughs> a picnic, you moron, this is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off. Urgh! Oh dear Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure? So he also has blood pressure, I mean high blood pressure issues. Hmm, what's that? <laughs> what? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! Uh, what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How, when, where? Who do such a thing besides me? <laughs> Again, they're hinting at the, the joke. I mean, they're, they're running with the joke that Princess Peach is always getting kidnapped, and it is, of course, usually by him. I am afraid we don't have the information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. <laughs> I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport. Now, I've got to kidnap her back. <laughs> so it's battle for Peach between Grotus and Bowser. And he's in the clown car. <laughs> Just love his face there. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Why would he go through the wall? There's a perfectly good door on the other side. But your crunchiness, wait up! And she just follows. Alright, who's gonna repair the castle? Who's going to repair the castle? Probably his minions. Just get a little bit of glue for the paper. Everything should be good to go again. Yes, I will. Thank you. Woo! Man, was that like 
seriously around 20 minutes of dialogue <laughs> for the most part seriously <laughs> and there's still more coming jeez <laughs> coops my lad are you telling me that you're going with mario um that's right dad i'm going to continue traveling with mario and then i'm well i'm going to come back a strong koopa like you dad nicely said young coops that's my boy but always remember this, you are my son, Coops, and I am your father. No, this can't be. You couldn't possibly be my father. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Coops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Um, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Roport. Remember, Mario, the bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what mud books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door, so, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly. Come on, let's go! And, got anything else to say, guys? Take care Take care of young Koops, will you, Mario? I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home a full-blown Koopa. Wait, isn't he kind of a Koopa already? That, I, I don't know, forget it. Take care of Koops, please. Oh, Murphy, I was sure you could get that crystal star. <laughs> I just love Murphy. Wait, you, what did you say? You used to be a hooktail too? Yeah, well, you are cool, mister. Hey, wait a minute. Couldn't you be that super famous guy? That guy named Luigi? Yeah, you look just like him. I'm right, aren't I? No, I'm not. I forget it. I can't tell you otherwise, can I? <sighs> so anyway, there are pe more people to talk to in the village, but... Well, you know what? I guess I'll go through uh, the rest of the people, like their dialogue and what the... I'm not because, you know, why not? This part has already already been a mostly dialogue part anyway. Huh, you say that you beat Hooktail? That's incredible, amazing. So I guess it means your adventure is finally over, eh? What? It's only just begun? Wow, really? In that case, you better stock up on more items. I bet they'll come in handy. No, the last time I did that, I kind of burned coinages. <laughs> what do you mean Coop's father was living inside Hooktail's stomach? Wow, Coopley rules! Hooktail bit off more than he could chew that this time. <laughs> It shouldn't take me too long to go through the peeps of this village, I think. Mm. And this is where, uh, I should say this was, where Coops was staying. And once again, there are random invisible barriers just there for the sake of being there. And now, as long as I can flip through here, I can grab this badge too, the Mega Rush P badge. Mm, you already seen what that did at the bottom of the screen. I don't think there's going to be anyone in here because this was the... Yep. Mayor's town, I mean mayor's house. So let's get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. This scent of the grass has healing properties, I swear. It just takes me to a happy place, you know what I mean. You think so too, right? Um Uh I'll I'll just agree. <laughs> Fair enough. What 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 what, what, if I, what if I say something else? Whoops. You're a wacko! Fair enough. <laughs> Same thing either way. Uh, anyone over here? I thought I seen one of those fliats yeah, over there, one of the flowery guys. Just gotta do some stuff in the village. Rejoice! The fearful hooktail is gone, and everyone is of good cheer once again. I truly hope that now people will begin to visit this village once more. Yeah, hopefully this is this turns back into a good tourist attraction. That dragon just scared everyone away. You, are you willing to talk to anyone yet? Ha! I'm General Wright! I am a bob -omb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. Does life have a purpose? I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Nope, still, nope, still doesn't want to. Number one Peach fanboy, how's it going? You beat Hooktail? Wow! Hey, so tell me, find any treasure? You bet we did! Oh, okay. They say the Koopas who perish, they are cursed to place with their regret. So anyone who claims the treasure will lose all his strength. Yeah, nasty, huh? Um, what? So what do you think? Is you scared now or what? Ha! Huh, I'm just messing with you. Okay, what else do you have to say here? Who needs treasure? Oh, okay. Um, same thing, same thing. 
Will you say the same thing if I say none of your beeswax, heart? Oh, okay. You really do? No matter what I say to you? Really? <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, let's go up to... Wait. I don't think there'll be anything new in the shop. Nope. Didn't think so. Just want to see how life has changed after Hooktail's defeat, basically. Some rumor monger told me you guys defeated Hooktail. That's just a joke, right? What? It's true? No way! I figured I was gonna crumple you up and throw you in that trash can! <laughs> well, you certainly had a lot of faith in us. Hey, what can I say? All I do is play my Nintendo GameCube. Best system ever, am I right? Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, I saved up for a new game. The sequel to Paper Mario. I just got started, but it's a blast so far. A blast! Try it for yourself and see. This is the sequel! Are you playing the game that you're in? <laughs> uh, Good old wall break. Oh no, it's not good old wall breaking. The universal implode. Ah, lovely day. The glorious sun shines down. My heart sings. Where is Afro Guy? Is Afro Guy around here anymore? No, he is not. I kind of miss Afro Guy. He was quite the pervy one. <laughs> you know, I bet there's a whole world we know nothing about past Hooktail's castle. But wait, don't tell me. I want to see it for myself. You know, explore like you. Mm, okay, nothing, nothing. Anything new inside the home? I doubt it. Mm, nope. Nothing new. So with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. Sorry for having a mostly dialogue part here, but tis the nature of the game, I suppose, and I hope you found it entertaining nonetheless with the, the comments that I had about certain things and whatnot. So with that, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.